Hello everyone, today I'm just going to do a little bit of local history here in Crumlin. I'm at the top of Kildare Road, outside the Jackpots Bingo Hall, and across the road from Our Lady's Children's Hospital, that's been here since 1956. The name Crumlin originates from Crooked Valley, or Curved Glen, that originated down in the Lansdowne Valley, not too far away from here, where the River Kamek is, that goes alongside Richmond Park, where St. Patrick's Athletics play in Inchicore. And up here at Jackpot's Bingo Hall, there is a lot of memories for a lot of people in the community. This was built in 1953. It had many incarnations as a cinema, a snooker hall, bingo hall, obviously, bowling alley and a skating rink at one point. So if you have any good memories from here, please share it in the comments as we take a stroll and a walk along as we look down towards Kildare Road. So if you have any memories regarding the bingo hall here, I think it currently accommodates 650 people. Famous as a snooker hall as well. I remember an interview actually with Gabriel Byrne, I think the famous uh, actor who uh, was born locally, went to school down the road in Arts Kalele, which is now going to become a library, which is great news for the local community. And uh, there was an interview with him here when it was a snooker hall many years ago. As we just take a stroll down, down towards St. Mary's Road. And in the distance you might be able to see the church that was built in 1817. The church goes back to the 12th century and originates from King John, famous in Limerick for King John's castle. So take a distance, you might see it in the distance there, so you'll walk down. And there's a cemetery there that goes back to the 1400s as well. And Crumlin is iconic with so many people. Phil Linus famously said when he was in England, he said he was from Ireland. When he was in Ireland, he said he was from Dublin. When he was in Dublin, he was from Crumlin. And when he was in Crumlin, he was from Legland Road, and when he was from Le Legland Road, he was a Linus. So he lived not too far away from here. And this whole housing scheme and housing estate that was built at the remit of Sean T. O'Kelly, who was minister responsible at that time in 1932, due to the disastrous conditions a lot of the working class lived in, in around Dublin city centre tenement conditions, a lot lived in poverty as well. And Crumlin sprung up around the thirties. So here we have Crumlin Bowling Club as well here. Let's see if we can have a quick glance inside. One of the premier Irish bowling clubs. Goes back to 1947. There you go, beautiful. Beautiful history here in Crumlin. Just take a little bit more of a stroll along here. As we'll see. Just look back in the distance. You see that lovely church in the distance. So as you come down, we come down, there's an entrance here as well for Willie Pierce Park, named in memory of brother of Patrick Pierce, who was executed on the 4th of May in 1916. Stood by Patrick Pierce's side in the GPO. This is an entrance to Willie Pierce Park. Up around there, there's fantastic sports fields, all-weather soccer pitch, Crumlin GA club play there, and
Crumlin Soccer Club. One of the great players played for Crumlin GA Club. The first All-Star from Dub Dublin, Brian McMahon, played for Crumlin. Jimmy Boggan was the Dublin Hurling manager, man from Wexford. Fantastic man and great uh, lover of hurling. But the game of hurling goes back many centuries here in Crumlin. It was played on Crumlin Common up here well over 300 years ago. And here we go, St Mary's again, we'll have a look. Try and bring you for a closer look as well. A church, first of all, came on this site in, as I said, the 12th century. And there was a couple of fires, I think in the 16th century, perhaps moving into the 17th century where the original church was destroyed here. And then, in the early 1800s, 1817, it was rebuilt. You can see just closely. But we'll just pull across here and have a look. This is in towards Crumlin village. Glebe house in the distance. Protected structure, but it's be fallen into disrepair. As you can see, a big uh, developer moving in, trying to build homes on that property as well. So here's a monument here as well for the ancient game of hurling. It dates back to 1993. This uh, sculpture was erected, and you can see it commemorates Oshin. Oshin was son of. Shum McCool. Leader of the Fianna. And was a, obviously famously known from the land of Tyrion and Oak when Neve arrived on her white horse and Oshin fell in love and travelled off to the land of Tirnaog, the land of eternal youth with Neve. And uh, returned on a number of occasions. When he returned, he was said to have tried to get off his horse to help people, men, move a boulder. And when he did, he aged 300 years. And then the men brought him to see St. Patrick to get baptised before he died. So the legend of Oisín, the warrior, poet, bard, great in Irish culture, Irish history, who is said to have played the ancient game of common hurling, or here in Crumlin Common. So, a lot of great history here in Crumlin. This is just a little tip of the iceberg of uh, the bigger picture when we go further afield in towards Crumlin, where you see the houses that have been built from the 30s, 40s, 50s, and provided front and back gardens for many people who were struggling during that period of time. And there's a tremendous history in this part of Dublin, and a great local groups that keep the history alive in places like Crumlin. But the village is synonymous, beautiful village, and the history and our culture is vitally important here in Crumlin and as all around Ireland as well. So thanks for joining me on the video today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, there is big links, as I said, to Hurling and Camogie in Crumlin, which is the same as this sculpture here as well, with many clubs joining together in the local area. St. Agnes's. St. Columbus, and it was the Cuchulain Camogie team as well. And I think in 85, Crumlin won the All-Ireland All Camogie Championship nearly 40 years ago. So uh, from St. Mary's Church up here in Crumlin Village, thanks for joining me in the video today. Short walk through Crumlin, and uh, we'll continue on as we go out through the village at some other point as well. So I uh, hope you share it and share your memories of Crumlin and going back to the famous star, Bingo Hall in Crumlin. 
uh, picture house, whatever memories you have, please share them. And uh, please share my video as well. And invite people to follow and enjoy my page as well. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you all soon. Bye-bye.